We're the Aquinas Institute and we only do one thing. We are publishing the works, the complete works of Thomas Aquinas. And uh, it's been done before. He's been around for a long time. But it's never been done the way that we are doing it. These high quality hardcover books, they're published in Latin on one side, English on the other. So whether you're a student who needs the English, or a professor who needs the Latin, or someone in between who wants to compare, they're all going to work for you. Um, Thomas Aquinas is, um, he is one of the pillars of Western civilization. And he was someone who took the works of Aristotle and Plato, the Greeks. He took the works of, of Cicero and the Romans and integrated them into his philosophy. But he was also one of our first multiculturalists. He was also integrating the works of uh, Jewish commentators like Rabbi Moses and Rabbi Maimonides, or um, Muslim commentators like um, Averroes and, and Avicenna, into his uh, philosophy and theology of the world. What the Aquinas Institute is bringing to the market are his commentaries on scripture, many of which have never been published in English before. There are basically three different sets of St. Thomas's work. You have the philosophical works, then you have the theological works, and those are his most famous works. The Summa Theologiae is, is the most famous work of Thomas Aquinas. Then you have his scripture commentaries which were his day job, that that was what he thought he was brought into the world to do. Um, and those are the ones that haven't appeared in English before now, most of them. So we have all the commentaries on the letters from St. Paul, uh, a couple of commentaries on the Gospels, and commentary this commentary on the book of Job available now. And anybody who's interested in the Bible would be interested in those books. Something that was really special about Thomas Aquinas is that when he was writing about um, the letters of St. Paul, for example, when he was going through Romans, one of the really tough ones, he would chat with God, chat with St. Paul in his head, and just ask them to help him out, give him that extra push, enlighten him just a little bit, say, what were you writing about? What were you thinking when you, when you said this difficult thing? Were you thinking it more this way or more that way? One of the events that made us realize that the, a larger audience might be in, interested in these works was that we applied for a grant to the National Endowment for the Humanities, and they gave Beth $250,000, Beth and her team, to translate some of the untranslated Aquinas. It's, there seems to be wide enough um, academic and popular audience to, to want to bring these things out into English.